Pretty versatile specimen, almost a palm size from the Tsumeb mine in Namibia. What we have here is a matrix, a core matrix of dolomite. And running across that is a, a ragonite known as Tarnowitzite, this particular form. And I'm going to take you through the, the angles on these crystals. So you have the elongated angle with the with, uh, appetite-like termination on top. Now, from a display point of view, this guy has various points of display. This this angle is is quite appealing, where you have these tarnavitsites. They are slightly overexposing. It's sort of a very, very mild undertone of yellowishness. Let's just take you across like that. Let's just see if we can get reflections of the faces. And then the, uh, sitting in the background is either the relative weight of the specimen isn't very heavy, so it's, it's most likely some calcite sitting in the background. There's another Tarnowitzite crystal over here. So uh, uh, quite a few Tarnowitzites on this matrix, but the main, the, the main uh, formation of appeal to me would be this particular angle. Actually, I think this is the, the correct angle. Just see if I can show you the reflection of the crystals, the beveling of the faces. There's a little face, look, as if something else is going on that, forming on that. Let's just see if we can cover it in like that. We go around like a Tano Witzite uh, with calcite on a matrix. I don't think we're looking at Nicholsonite here, which is also a variety of uh, um, aragonite. Um, I think this would be the Tarnowitzite, because of the color. It's a very, very mild color. The Nicholsonite would be more yellow, to my knowledge. And then there we have a crystal as well. You have some smaller crystals sitting across there. Tiny ones across this matrix section. And, of course, a little bit of reddishness, which would be iron oxides.